Glyphosate, also known as Roundup, has been in the news a lot lately. You've probably heard plenty of news reports about it either being banned or calls for it to be banned. And the reason for this call? Cancer. But does glyphosate actually cause cancer? The answer is a definitive yes. And also no. Wait, where am I going with this? Well, the confusion about glyphosate safety is because there are two ways of measuring chemical safety. The first method is hazard. Hazard is a measure of how bad a chemical can be if you were exposed to it. In short, how bad would glyphosate be if you were to drink it or bathe in it? In this case, yes, if you were trying to intentionally give someone cancer by frequently using glyphosate, then it would be possible given enough time. But I'll take a wild guess and assume that's not how you're using it. This is where the measure of risk comes in. Risk is how harmful a chemical is in the real world. In reality, you might be exposed to glyphosate in small amounts when applying it. That's why the instructions will always say to use gloves, long clothes, masks, and so on. If you follow all the instructions on the label, will glyphosate cause cancer? No. So that's the long answer. You can give yourself cancer with glyphosate if you wanted to, but you won't if you follow the instructions. <laughs>